What's going on, everybody? I'm W. And I'm the Thick Baby. We're going to be bringing you some comic news, some great subjects today. We've got a new Suicide Squad. we got Rick Hunter returning and a little Mace Windu sneak peek. Oh. So let's jump right into it. All right, first up, we got Ultimate Black Panther number one coming February 7th. This is basically Black Panther versus Moon Knight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Moon Knight, uh, who's his alter ego, Ra? I have it written. We have, it's two people, Kanshu and Ra. Kan, okay, so both of them are fighting over the separate alter egos in, I can't even remember his real name. Yeah, and split yeah. personality. But they're expanding their reach over Africa, I believe. Yep. And who better to come and fight him than the representative of Wakanda? Black Panther. So this is a new series for Black Panther. It comes out February 7th. I'd go pick it up. Black Panther is usually collectible. Yeah, plus, yeah. I mean, it's versing another superhero, so it's kind of a key collector issue. But to be fair, it almost always ends in a tie when it's two superheroes fighting. That's true, and then they end That's up true. fighting some big bat or something yeah. weird. All right, uh, other than that, I got Thundercats number one coming February 7th. This is a 24-part mm-hmm. series. Definitely pick it up. There's never a time Thundercats isn't collectible, even if you don't read Thundercats. 24 part? That's huge. Yeah, it's going to be a big series. It's brand new, too. It's the Thundercats are landing back on Earth from their spaceship. They're being chased by their mortal enemy, something Ra. I can't remember his name. I have no idea. I'm not a huge Thundercats fan, but I know that there's never a time that Thundercats isn't collectible. So pick this up. It's going to go up in value. Um, last one, Suicide Squad Kills Arkham Asylum number one, coming out February 6th. This is a prequel to Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League that just released. Uh, we had talked about how they had problems with their release, but I feel like that only drew more attention to them and made it bigger. So I think a prequel to that in comic form can only be more collectible than when it's sold. Yeah, really, that whole debacle really did help boost the publicity for that yeah. thing. It was huge. So I would go pick this one up, hold on to it for a little while. I think it might be a quick turnaround on when you can sell this for at least double the value you're buying it for, which, frankly, might only be 5 to 10 bucks, but it's, it's something. something. Yeah. yeah. Or you could hold on to it longer. It could increase in value. You never you know. Get it signed and graded and sit on it for 50 years. <laughs> something. True. <Yeah. laughs> we got... Robotech, Rick Hunter, number three. It's returning after a long hiatus. I think that the writer got sick or something a while ago because it was supposed to be a 10-part series, and they released two at the start of last year and just stopped. I haven't seen anything. They didn't say anything. And then just out of the blue, they were like, hey, we're bringing it back. Here's number three. We're continuing the series. Okay. And it's picking up right where the original story left off with Robotech, Vera Pilot, Rick Hunter. I like it. I like it. Pretty excited about that one. And some big news for Star Wars fans out there. We got Star Wars Mace Windu number one. Mace Windu is the best character in Star Wars. So cool. Dude's mastered light side and the dark side. Just great with the lightsaber. It's dropping February 7th. It's going to be $4 or $4.99, 5 bucks, whatever. Um, Usual price. Quick description. When a scientist's discovery threatens the balance of the galaxy, Mace Windu was led down a treacherous path of mystery and action. Introducing a new character, Azita Cruz, a pirate with a deadly secret who the Huts and the Republic will stop at nothing to control. Okay, I like it. We got some space pirates going with Mace Windu. I like yep. it. Debut of a new character to the series. So you got first appearance in a comic, number one issue, collector's comic for sure. Oh, right absolutely. Off Pick this one up, hang on to it for a little while and see what the pricing does, but I can't see this one not going up. February 7th. Get it while it's hot. But that's all I've got for comic news, everybody. Hey, everybody. I'm the Thick Baby. And I'm W. And thank you for watching our comic news segment. We have merch dropping. It is sweatshirts with us animated on the front of them. They're awesome. Go and support us and buy them. It's first come, first serve on all the sizes, so make sure you get them fast. Uh, Thanks for watching, and we will be back next week with more comic news. (music) 